In this video, I'm going to talk about for loop. So first, I'm going to open new project and name my file as for loop. Okay, and Win32 console application. Okay. Next, empty project and finish. So here, what I'm going to do, I'll actually start with while loop and. What I'm going to do, uh, I'll create one while loop and I'll convert that to for loop to kind of uh, to see how they're similar and uh, how they're similar basically. So I'm going to do main.cpp. All right, so here, if you remember, in the previous example, we did something like this integer main integer argument count char star and argument value and return zero so basically what we did before we did something like print f uh, hello well here i mean you can put basically anything so cookies I'm going to put something like this and obviously now print F is underlined so I'm going to do include standard IO dot H oops standard IO dot H again instead of uh, standard IO dot H you can use CSTDIO if you want CSTDIO is uh, the standard C++ runtime library which includes printf okay. standard IO.h is the standard C runtime library but they basically do the same thing so uh, quite honestly I don't care much about like which uh, header file uh, you use I mean it's probably a matter of uh, preference so now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say int uh, number of cookies equal like 10. Okay. So, uh, by the way, this number of cookies, uh, we uh, use naming this, na uh, we call this types of naming convention as a camel case. Okay. So this one kind of looks like camel and you basically use uh, uh, upper case whenever you have space okay so anyways if you remember we did something like while okay number of oops of cookies is greater than zero okay we are going to do print f okay would you like percent D cookies and here I'm going to put number of cookies and then we are going to say number of cookies negative equal one basically this means you will this one is same as uh, number of cookies equal number of cookies minus one Okay, then let's try to see what's going to happen. Okay, I'll build this one. And yeah, that was quick. So I'm going to open containing folder, command window here, debug, and Okay, for loop.exe. Oh, so here I forgot to put I forgot to put a new line. So backslash n backslash n. <coughs> and sometimes people actually put uh, print f backslash n just to see that the uh, one uh, empty line. Okay. So now I'm going to build it again. <clears throat> so 
So as you can see, it will look a little better. Okay, cookies. Would you like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6? So it basically repeat this, uh, this like 10 times. So this is while loop <coughs> and for loop. Okay, for have is very similar to while. So while yeah, this con as long as this condition is true, we are going to repeat this. Okay, so for <coughs> actually do the same thing, uh, but it basically do this just slightly different way. Okay, so basically for has this initial condition. So int i equal zero. Okay. And then basically we can have the, the like second condition. So here, well, technically what we can do is, okay, I'll actually do this. Okay, I'll comment this out for now. Oops. So this time, what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to comment this whole while part. Okay. What I'm going to do, uh, you can do like double slashes for every single line, but obviously it's not convenient. In this case, what you can do, if you want to comment like one part of your uh, code out, you can put slash star, okay, and here star slash. So basically this one indicates beginning of comment and this one indicates end of comment. So this whole part now recognized as uh, a comment. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this first one, like initial, uh, initial uh, argument as this one, okay? And second argument as this one. Okay. And third argument as this one. Okay. And then I'm going to have this curly braces and print F this. Okay. So basically now what it does, this one is our initial like uh, initial argument. Okay. Oh, okay, we uh, declare number of cookies and uh, initial value is 10. So we start with this condition. And as long as this is true, okay, we are going to do this and execute this. So this one is kind of like same as while, but different arrangement. And um, <clears throat> well, everything, all the all, all this like uh, initialization and condition and this uh, uh, decrease decreasing. Uh, the value is like can be uh, placed or set as uh, one line. So sometimes people uh, use for uh, uh, because of that reason. But anyways, let me uh, build this and see whether we are going to get the same result. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we actually get exactly the same result. Okay. So we actually use a different code, but the result is the same. So here, <coughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually comment this out too. So I'll cut it and paste it here. So I comment that whole thing out. And now what I'm going to do, I'll copy this and paste it. So. <coughs> Conventional way of using uh, this for loop, okay, instead of number of cookie, okay, uh, a lot of times people use i, okay, and then here there are many different ways to do this, okay, if i equal 10, as long as i is greater than 0, okay, we're going to do this, and we will take off i Okay, one from i each time we do this okay and this can be rewritten this way i minus minus means 
you basically subtract one from yourself so you will this value will be decreased by one okay so now I'll build it oh what happened error list oh number of cookies we don't have this one anymore so I have to change this one actually to I okay <coughs> So I'm going to build it and basically I'm going to have exactly the same result so we do this 10 times and sometimes people actually I mean same same thing but if you want to do this like 10 times uh, sometimes people like to use uh, something in the positive order so people start from uh, 0 and this one as long as this one is less than 10 and you increase it by one so I mean uh, I'm, I, I'm basically uh, using slightly different uh, equation or condition but the result basically results are the same okay f3 and oh actually this this case uh, this time you start from 0 to 10 so actually if you want to use it from 10 to uh, 1 you actually start from 10 and greater than 0 and I minus minus but either way I mean uh, you I, I hope you understand like for and while loop they're pretty similar and <clears throat> you can easily convert uh, one loop to another okay. it's basically just different way to uh, the write the code but the uh, logic if you think about logic uh, they are pretty much the same okay so we just looked at uh, the similar uh, similarity between uh, while and for loop and uh, I hope you understood both loop and uh, you will use this while and for loop a lot okay? so so hopefully uh, you will remember this and enjoy coding and I'll see you in the next video